So, uh, so how do you now manage in this scenario to be peaceful and mindful and that you would also like to <clears throat> Well, other mindfulness can be of tremendous help during current times, the pandemic right. times. It helps us to reduce yeah. anxiety, calm the amygdala. Amygdala is the survival part of the brain which increases our ability to think. Uh, when we can control amygdala, which is the survival uh, part of the brain, it increases our ability to think creatively and empathetically take over Correct. other people's perspectives also. Like once again, I would like to talk about Steve Jobs. You know, uh, Steve Jobs, at a, as an early adapter of this technique, described his experiences in a very different way. He should always, he used to always say that you start to say, see things more clearly and be more in the present once you start becoming mindful. And right. he used to also say that your mind just slows down in mindfulness and you see a tremendous expanse in the current moment. You see so much more than you could have seen before. That is how he used to describe mindfulness. And I absolutely agree to what uh, Steve Jobs had to say about uh, his opinion about mindfulness. So I, I, actually in my work, I've observed three practices that help in uh, crisis, uh, times of crisis. One is mm -hmm. mindfulness. Two, uh, we should meditate uh, mindfulness. That is the first thing in the morning that needs to be done. We need to right. start a meeting with a few minutes of deep breaths. Now, this is something that I have also started doing in the last uh, few days. We need to start taking a few deep breaths. It, it refreshes you. And you need right. to step back when you get caught in unproductive and thought patterns. So like if you have thoughts which are negative in nature, you need to step back a little and then start rethinking. So I would right. like to give you a case study again. I have a very okay. young entrepreneur friend. His name is Sandeep Pote and he's into mm -hmm. the logistics business. So when the mm -hmm. lockdown started and nobody was allowed to travel, including the essential vehicles in the beginning stage, he got panicked because he had got too many vehicles and he had too many drivers and too many expenses to support and the business had stalled. So he was speaking to me and I told him that just hold on. This is an opportunity zone for you. And in all probability, being in the logistics sector, you might grow. Forget about not doing business. You might grow and your demand might increase. His company's name is CB Logistics. And trust me, that changed his perspective of looking at the situation. And today, he's one of the happiest entrepreneurs that I know. Uh, he has already crossed 200 vehicles. He has, he has put on a couple of large customers as his regular customers. And he has been providing services to all the lockdown people uh, of uh, Mumbai by providing them fruits and vegetables at their doorsteps, uh, working in, a, in coordination with a large company for whom he is doing logistics management. So when you change your perspective, everything around you changes. So that's about being mindful and uh, looking at the current situation with a different spectacle.